Alike Freaks sent me this. This is the Alike Freaks Retro Arcade for Education and it is amazing. So it looks like this and it is quite small. You can see there's my hand, normal adult hand, but it's perfect for kids. It's nice and small. We've got our kind of retro style. Reminds me of a Game Boy Color where we've got our pad here and we've got our A or B. This menu button and a refresh. So if you want to play a game and it's not working properly or something, then you can just press refresh and it'll refresh it. It's really good. So I've used this over the past month, playing around with it. It actually is really good for inspiring me to kind of do a bit more with arcade.makecode.com. If you haven't checked out the website, check it out. It's really good. It's really good for learning how to create games, especially 8-bit kind of style games. There's loads of tutorials on it and you can do so many things with it. So instead of it just being kind of a virtual game where you have to use maybe your virtual one of these, um, you can actually have a physical one. So you connect this via USB-C into the computer or the Chromebook, whatever you're using, and then you can download your game. Now, my kids at home especially, they're really young. They're too young for maybe making their own games, but they can play with them. And they've loved kind of playing this here. Right, it shows up, there you go. So it's like a little pizza game. This is one of the basic tutorials that you can do when you get on to makecode.arcade.com. And like I said, I just made this on the, oh, there we go. I made this on the website, connected it to arcade.makecode.com and downloaded it onto this. Now we have the options for menu, if we have a look here. You can see that we've got our volume up and down. We can use brightness settings, a close, sleep, show console and show stats and whatever we're doing. And if I want to restart the game, I can press this little one here and it'll load back up. Um, if you want to turn it off, you press it twice at the top and if you want to turn it back on, you press it once and on. Now, if it's not working and the battery's out, you can always have it plugged in and it will work just the same. So on the back of it, you have got these here and this is for adding in some Lego. So this comes with some kind of funky eyes. So if I attach them on here, you see, quite easy just to pop in. And there you have it, and I have some spinny eyes, and you can obviously add whatever kind of Lego you want onto it. In my unboxing video, you'll see all the things that come with the kit. But yeah, really cool, really fun. I can see this being really popular and really a good way to kind of help children be more inspired to look at just not just creating games, but then actually going from start to finish. They've come up with the idea, they've then coded it, seen what it looks like in the simulator on arcade.makeo.com, and then they've been able to actually make it. And you could have this in the class. You could have um, a, a game of the, the week if you wanted to or something. Or if you had a club, um, if you had a few of these, you could have them. Maybe the older kids could make the games for younger children to play as a way to kind of inspire them. I know, like I said, my kids love playing uh, this kind of game here, this pizza one, which is really, really simple. But they absolutely love it because, well, they're really they're little. So you can get really complex with it. Really good piece of kit. It's yeah. Uh, Thanks to Light Freaks for the same me. I'm definitely going to have it more in my class, but also even just kind of play around with it myself. But check it out if you can. It is a Light Freaks Retro Arcade for Education.